Today's show is sponsored by the ABV Barrel Shop. The ABV Barrel Shop is located in the St. Louis metro community of Arnold, Missouri, and is the world's first single barrel only liquor store. This business is owned and operated by Steve Akeley and Jim Fosnott. Head over to abvbarrelshop.com to sign up for their email and text distribution list. That way you'll know what they have in stock, what classes are coming up, and what barrel picks they have in the works. We are also sponsored by The Bar to Go. The Bar to Go offers a fully customizable carrying case that allows you to take your favorite distilled spirits or cocktail ingredients with you. Whether you're looking for yourself, a customized gift, or logo items for your business or event, The Bar to Go can help. Check them out at thebartogo.com. Use the number two when you type out The Bar to Go. Did you know Neely Family Distillery now ships its popular distilled spirits directly to you? To order, simply call 859-394-3258. Tell them the ABV Network sent you. And now, on to the show. Let's drink! Welcome to the Bourbon Daily, the podcast about everything bourbon delivered to you every day of the week. Today we have a special show from the ABV uh, Tasting Bar, where we're going to be ranking our regulars. One of our favorite things that we do. My name is Steve Akeley, joined by Jim Fosnott and Darren McCroy. What's going on, guys? How are we doing, Steve? Oh, good, pretty good. Good, good, good. People, uh, people love this, and uh, they've been wondering. We're already past. We're into July, but we've been busy, <laughs> and uh, so we're just getting to this right now. This will obviously be later. Uh, probably mid month by the time this comes out. Uh, this is uh, what July sixth. Yep. July sixth or seventh. 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 I just wrote a check. I, I just wrote a check. I was like, wait, the sixth is yesterday. So that only means it's the eighth. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. So that's what's going on here. So uh, we're finally getting around to that. So it'll be a short month for some of the, the rain will be short here. So we'll we'll see how when we get to it. Darren, you said before we get started with this, you had uh, something you want to talk about. What is that? So we know that people take great pride and rate the regulars. Right. Where would you most want to be number one if every cus like every store ranked every it, store cu- ranked you no matter what it is they rank you. Yeah. Just for being their favorite, kind of like how we do it. Being their favorite. Okay. Sam's Steakhouse. I would like to be number one. <laughs> yeah. At Sam's Steakhouse, I like that place. Uh, I'd like to be on the radar there where they're like, oh, Mr. Akeley. Yeah, yeah, uh, that would be nice. That would be good. But I'm not on there yet. <laughs> I'm in so few stores. I mean, I'm in Lowe's all the time, but eh, I don't necessarily care if they. Well, what about that? Uh, but, what about that gas station you stop in at every day? No, no, no more there. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I, I got ranked there enough. <laughs> so uh, I think uh, you brought up a restaurant. So for me, uh, my favorite restaurant in the uh, in the area is the uh, Broadway Oyster Bar. Okay. So if I could be the uh, the number, number one, one customer right. at Broadway Oyster Bar, and they took great care of me every time I walked in, they're excited to see me. Yeah, that wouldn't suck. No, we're not, okay. I think it would be really cool to be number one customer at, like, Bush Stadium. And you walk in, everyone knows your name, and, like, I think that would be really fucking cool. <laughs> it's yeah. a little bit harder to do. Yeah, it's big numbers <laughs> yeah. that they have to keep track of. That's a lot of rankings, but uh, sure. I was sure. with somebody there who had, had season tickets the same spot for years, and that's how he was. We walked through, and everybody knew his okay. name, and uh, they were, you know, approach him. It was kind of a... A cool experience, I guess, but uh, I don't go there enough. That ever. I haven't been to a game this year. Yeah, I haven't been to a game actually in years. Yeah, so, probably, yeah. Uh, yeah, probably three years for me now. So you used to be a customer that would come in here. You made the rankings. What was the highest you ever got ranked? <clears throat> three. You made it all the way to three? Yeah, it was three. Oh, did you consider not starting here in hopes that you could at least get number one at some point? No, because then... three was like... Way earlier on, I, I had okay. fallen. I, 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 most of the last couple months, or well, the month before this, we still I, hired you. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't tumbling, in the top ten. You're tumbling well, down the ranks. He was the only regular that was looking for employment. <laughs> right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But Copkin and Evan were the two above me at that time. Yeah. Okay. Which yeah. those are two formidable. Cops can has it. fallen huge this yeah. summer. His, yeah, his uh, his life is changing this summer with his responsibility with the kids and uh, new job, new, new yeah. position, yeah. network, yeah. promotion. So uh, 
He has tumbled. He has. He has. Good guy. Yeah. We're hoping he uh, he makes a return to the top ten. Uh, a little <laughs> preview. He's not going to make it this time. <laughs> he's not going to make it. So uh, what are we drinking here? Darren, you selected something here from the ABV Barrel Shop Tasting Bar, Arnold, Missouri, St. Louis suburb. We have our new um, limousine rye. Okay. Northern Ohio's finest finest limousine oak limousine oak yeah customers give you uh, trouble about that online to this day yep so, online yeah. and in person and yeah yeah but, uh, to clarify it's a, yeah. 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 it is a french oak yeah it is not a french oak it's not from oak. northern Ohio. as it very much sounds like yes. a french word it's but, not spelled uh, like the limousine ride right correct totally differently correct so yeah well cheers guys cheers, cheers. that's very good, good stuff well. there Fantastic. Available at the ABV Barrel Shop. Arnold, Missouri. So yeah. come by and see us. America's yeah. Disneyland is making some great whiskey. Oh, yeah. Oh, here comes Barley. America's Disneyland. <laughs> America's oh, Disneyland. Barley. Oh, you're going to hear this. <laughs> Swide on the set. You're going to hear him run in here yeah. uh, like crazy. So Shop Dog's going to run yeah. in make his appearance. You'll you'll hear it here. We're, we're waiting it for it. It won't be as loud as normal because he, he looks everywhere for Jim when Jim's next door. He runs in, then runs back. I don't know. He looks pretty bar. excited. The drama Let's here. Oh, here she comes. Here comes Barley. And there he is, and <laughs> around the bar, behind and the there bar, is behind the bar, there we are, and he's found it. So he found me. Happy. Drinking right. some water. Oh, Rose is here. Rose, you want to say hello to the audience? No, oh, we're on the podcast. Come on, Rose, say hi. Hello. <laughs> you're, you're now bourbon famous. Yeah. Oh yeah, people know you in the bourbon 80, world. Eighty thousand people are going to know your voice. Now. Yeah. Uh oh, I'm in uh -huh. trouble. Yeah. So if you have laundry needs, say you come by and uh, uh, you you want to. Uh, do your laundry, bring it, bring the laundry with you, then stop by the ABV Barrel Shop and uh, have a pour. I don't understand why people sit down there and stare at the walls when they can come down here and get some whiskey. I don't, yeah. I don't get it. I'm, Agreed. Not, I'm not sure how that works, so yeah, yeah, pretty well. All right, what we'll do next, we'll take a quick break, and then when we come back, it's going to be time for Rating the Regulars. We'll do that in just a few. Let's talk about the people who make these shows happen. First up is the ABV Barrel Shop. It is the most unique shopping experience in the world of bourbon as the ABV Barrel Shop only sells single barrels, owners Steve Akeley and Jim Fosnott select. With over 100 distilleries on board to sell us barrels, we are home to the most unique and diverse barrel pick selections in the bourbon world. By signing up for our email, you will always know what we have in stock. In addition to the single barrels, we'll have a gift shop featuring ABV Barrel Shop as well as ABV Network merchandise. We are partnering with vendors like Art Eatables and Old Man Bay Signs to bring you unique items you can't find anywhere else. We'll also have a 24C classroom where we are offering educational and fun classes like Breakfast and Bourbon, a series where we pair donuts and bourbon, customer barrel picks, and opportunities to learn from master distillers and other bourbon dignitaries. Best of all, we feature a tasting bar where you can try before you buy. All of this is located in the St. Louis metro community of Arnold, Missouri. If you are in the St. Louis area, please stop by to say hi. If you're traveling in from outside the area, please take advantage of our hotel rates with the Drury Inn and Pear Tree Inn less than a mile from our shop. This can be done via the links in our Visit St. Louis section on our website. Head over to abvbarrelshop.com to plan your trip. The ABV Barrel Shop. It's where single barrels live. Hi, this is Steve Akeley, owner of the ABV Network. We're sponsored by the Stave and Thief Society. This is where you, a bourbon enthusiast, can expand your knowledge and emerge a bourbon steward. In 2017, I completed my Executive Bourbon Steward Certification. It's the most comprehensive bourbon certification program available and connects you with an expansive network of bourbon enthusiasts and professionals. Check out the full listing of in-person and online certifications and join the Society today by enrolling at staventhief.com. Okay, let's talk about the Neely Family Distillery. In 2018, I met Royce Neely at an industry event. He started appearing on our shows and we became friends during my frequent trips to Kentucky. Today, he is amongst the leaders of young distillers, leaving their mark on the bourbon industry. A visit to Neely Family Distillery yields insight on their unique family history, why their products are special, and gives you the opportunity to taste their whiskey, moonshine, and creams. Check them out at neelyfamilydistillery.com or visit them in Sparta, Kentucky. My name is Heidi Topol Eller Fosnott, and you're listening to the Bourbon Daily. 
All right, everybody, welcome back. This is Steve Eggley, Jim Fosdott, and Darren McCroy. We are uh, ranking our regulars, and we only get to, uh, you know, it's only a top 10 list, but we start out with 20. So here's the field. Evan Neters, well, he's going to be like that. He was listed number one. He's like, is this a foreshadowing? Am I going to be number one? We'll see. He might be. I don't know. Uh, Kristen Wall, Evan Van Skoik, Bob uh, Miramonte, uh, Jason and Tina Rack, Kyle Neely, Chris Schott, uh, Marie Hatch, Dave Hoyle, Sean Bequette, Kathy Cool, Ryan Neaters. He's glad just to be, uh, you know, say his name. Top 20, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, he's, he's just happy with that. Uh, uh, Clayton Seabacher, Dave Probst, Jim Gokin, Linda Modica, Matt Modica. Oh, mm -hmm. well, both and, and separate, too. Cop Chris, Michael Hatch, and Spencer Rice. That's our 20 right there. That's our 20. Is there anybody that stands out that automatically is going to get number one here? I, I just don't think Chris is, Kristen has been overthrown. No. I, she is is still... Um, it's about who gives us happiness, and who's not happy when Kristen comes strolling in? Everyone. I, I, it was a slow day yesterday, to be honest, and, uh, you know, I'm sitting down on the couch, and here comes Kristen last night, and I'm like, yes! <laughs> and then she stayed and talked for over an hour. It's great. I and loved it. And not only that, she's interesting. Like she's got great stories. I learned more and more about. Like I learned last week when she was in here that she did flat track motorcycle racing. <laughs> like it's kick ass. Yeah. Also, has this month given me my new favorite restaurant as a recommendation? <laughs> Came from her. That <laughs> gives her bonus points too. What I love that place. It's closed. What about the fact it's closed? Well, that, that that's, not kind of hurts. <laughs> that's not her fault. That's not her fault. She didn't close it. No. <laughs> She needs to be more in tune with her vacation schedule, though, which yes. makes a recommendation for sure. All right, so Kristen's number one. Is there number two? What last time it was it was, uh, it was who? Evan. Van Skoik? Yeah, he's been he's been strong. He's been solid. He's been uh, as is Neaters, though. I, I think uh -huh. I think Evan Neaters it edges him out. I, I, I think, think he, he does, does too. too. Yeah, I think it's Evan Neaters is number two. Evan yeah. Neaters jumps up all the way to number two. Number Plus. Two. Evan's talking about making a country music list for our drive down to Kentucky. Oh, or to Indiana, I'm sorry. And that yeah. just, that, that's going to. Could you imagine if that happens on the next month? He's getting bumped way down. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. He have to. He'll have to be a penalty box for. Yeah. Us. We'll start a new list. Uh, people so far off the list that. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Bottom ten. Right. Number three. Does did Van Squick do enough to uh, hang on to the number three, or some other considerations this far up? Um, one of the Modicas. They're fun people. They are. Uh, Jim Gokin, uh, you know, not that, I think it was this past month, he brought in a whole group. He filled up the whole bar, bar. and then spill over, and they all, by the way, they all bought. That yeah. was like, they all bought. Spencer Rice. Now, what way may work against Spencer a little bit, he brought in some really good ribs. He did on a day when I was off. I mean, <laughs> Spencer. Well, that's not his fault, though. Do better, Spencer. No, I mean, no, no. Come that on. Was, uh... Come on. Also, Kathy Cool did bring in donuts. Oh, I left oh. off Cup Chris. <laughs> he was on the, He's in the top 20, so I just wanted to throw that in there. Hey, he's listening. He, you were in the top 20, buddy. You said it. I did? I said Cup Chris? Uh-huh. I don't know. We'll roll the tape. And yeah, we'll okay. Either. Yeah, yeah. Because I remember I was like, oh, Cop Chris was on the top 20. Because we made the top 20 list a couple days ago. I didn't remember who was on there. Oh, I'll so throw Spencer out there with the ribs, man. Spencer was, with uh, the ribs. That was a good move. It was a day... Uh, that He's brought me in barbecue before, too. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, yeah, it's, this is not unprecedented. He literally invited me. He's like, hey, if you can leave here for an hour or so, come over. Because he lives like a mile behind us. Right. He's like, just come over for the barbecue. I'm like, yeah, I don't know if I can wouldn't leave. come back. Yeah. And, then, yeah. Lose, yeah. and so he just showed up with ribs for uh, forever. And, and they were the, really the, good. Sarah Spencer right. did the same thing. He brought in a big group for you the other day. Yeah. So I, At the end of the night. I, I, a bunch of fun people that, uh, yeah, it's about who gives us joy. And uh, he brought in a whole fun group. So we're going to go Where Spencer. Go. Grabs the number three spot. Well, his highest uh, showing to date. So, all right. Number four? Four? I think it's between two people for number okay. four. Kathy Cool? She brought in donuts more than once. Okay, so it's between three people. I okay. think it's Van Skoik, Jason and Tina Rack. Every time they come in, we get big smiles yeah, on our face. True. And true. Kathy with her fantastic donuts. Best donuts I've ever eaten. Okay. Okay. Hmm. So I'd, I'd say it's one of those three. One of those three. What do you think, Jim? I'm, I'm going to throw a vote to Kathy on this one there. Uh, right. She has been in more. She's always fun. I like Kathy, and, too. And by the way, those are the best. That gooey butter cake donut may be the best donut I've ever eaten in my life. Okay. Mm -hmm. Kathy Cool, 
is a solid number four pick. All right, uh, we had a little bit of a break there because we had a couple customers come in. So that, that happens when you're here at the, the barrel shop. You know, you got to yield to customers. We kind of forgot where we're at. We've got four on the list here. Kristen Wall, Evan Nieder, Spencer Rice, and Kathy Cool. I think we we're trying to talk about uh, who might be next. Do, does anybody have any ideas? you got Kyle Neely out there still. Evan Van Skoik hasn't hit the list yet. Uh, neither of uh, you know Dave Hoyle hasn't been there. Sean and I don't did Sean make the list last? Year? He did. He did. Yeah, he, he was, was he, number ten. He, he was, was number ten. He barely made it. Uh, so Kathy Cool was our last one to go on. Uh, Cop Chris would love to be on. Is it is it hard to push Evan past five? Like he's been in here every week. Yeah. All right, he's, Evan. Evan's at number five. He's uh, bringing in great things to try. The king of Thirsty Thursday. Yeah. Yeah. He, he is entertaining. We more laugh at him than with him, but it's a, it's still enjoyment. Right, right. <clears throat> so, yeah, he's a good dude. He, he deserves it. And we had 11 people in here that one day last Thursday. Yes, so. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was a big day. Big day for sure. All right, uh, who else? we still got... They all deserve to be on here. Yeah, that's, this that's, is getting that's hard the, now. That's the problem with this. They all belong on here. We're down to, uh, you know, five spots left, so... Ooh. But the summer... The summer pattern has definitely changed. Mm. Right. Our like Steinkamp's pattern. not even the, He didn't make the top 20. Right. Yeah. And, and, you know, he, top 10. Like, yeah. you know, prior he'd be here all the time. And now with, you know, his kids out of school and his new position, like, it gets tough. Right. Right. Hmm. I think the Medicas, one of the Medicas need a spot. Maybe both of them. When they come in here, they've been in several, like, Tuesday evenings. Oh, yeah. And, like, before they go to dinner, they'll bring their daughter yeah. in here. Yeah. And they were nominated separately. Uh, we could do it as a couple. They were not, so we have to roll with mm-hmm. that. Who makes it out of the Modicas? And the chances of both of them making it would be slim, I would say. So, yeah. who do you think? Let's talk mm-hmm. Modicas. Uh-huh. <laughs> See, that, that's <laughs> when it gets I, hard. I, yeah, I I would roll them together because they're no, again, they, that's not how they were nominated. Unfortunately, well, just because you screw up the nomination, oh, doesn't mean you have to screw uh, up no, the uh, no, final. That's how they were. Uh, Darren nominated them like that. I, I I even asked. I said, as a couple or separate. So they just got back from Jamaica. Some of them want to be separate. Like the Hoyles, they don't want to be together. They don't want to be Pam right. and Dave. They want to be separate. So, uh, I think we throw Linda in. <laughs> and I, I I just think that's where we go. All right. Would well, you agree with that? I, uh, again, I feel like they should, be, they should be rolled together. But if not, I'm going to throw Linda in. She's always entertaining. She's a okay. lot of fun. All right. She's a great person. She, Linda makes it. She saw skeletons in some closets in Jamaica. Yes, that's, Jamaica the, yes. that's the best goddamn yeah. story. <laughs> God. That is the best story ever. So, yeah. Come into the uh, Barrel Shop Tasting Bar. Uh, I think I'm going to – I want to put the next person in. Gokin. Yep. He, 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 that was I my next know, name. I, I don't know that he's made the list before, and uh, and he deserves it. I mean, he, he's he, enjoyable. Yeah, yeah. He is enjoyable. Uh-huh. <laughs> Enjoy a bowl. He's, he's wait for it, legend. Wait for it, dairy. Okay, all right. Who else? All right, we're down what? to three spots who's, left. Who's left? Read who's off. Left? Our, read off. All our right, I'm going to read. This is everyone who's available here. Bob Miramonte, Jason and Tina Rack, Kyle Neely, Chris Schott, Marie Hatch, Dave Hoyle, Sean Bequette, Ryan Needers, Clayton Seabacher, Dave Probst. Matt Modica, Cop Chris, and Michael Hatch. Man, there's some heavy hitters there still are. left out there. Yeah. I mean, Cop Chris is pretty regular. Yeah. And he hasn't made it before. Okay. Does he make it? Does he think, get a pity vote? I think, we, I think we let him squeak in this time. All Does right. All right. Cop Chris. Man. Holler. He made it. Yeah. He made it. He made it. Two spots left. And at least 10 very deserving people, I'd say. Oof. Is there anybody that stands out where they're like, I can't end this one without this person going in? Because we only got two spots left. So, what, I have one that okay. is going to need to make it. So, Ryan Needers is the only one on this regulars list that came and visited us the first Sunday that we were open. So I, I think he should get some votes. He's brought, He's been in here several times since then, too. But he was the only one of the regulars to come see me All on right. that first Sunday. All right. This may resolve the, the situation. Here's what I think. Uh, Sean Bequette was hurt 
that he only made number 10 last time. And he claimed, I forget, what it was his best month for some reason. Does anybody remember why? Uh, for some reason why. He, he went to City Hall for it. Oh, that's oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, was, he was furious he only ranks number 10. So do we put him number 9? He's moving, he's trending up. And then 10 is Ryan Neeters. And then everyone else misses out? Or is there I, someone else? I, know, I, th- I think that makes sense. I think we, right. we, we put Sean at number 9. Sean's number 9. I think I think for Ryan, he's going to be happy to make it for the first time, and I think ten is the uh, appropriate, appropriate spot one. for him. And so. a lot of people who didn't make it this time, it's it's just circumstances like the Hoyles, like Pam had surgery, so they're not here much. Yeah, know. that that can hurt them. <laughs> uh, one that hurts me, uh, the Hatches. Yeah, yeah. they need to be they've on that. spent some time. They, they 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 did what it took to be on the list this month. It's just we ran out of numbers. <laughs> it's a numbers game. Same thing with Co- Jason, Jason and Tina, Tina Rat. Same thing. That's, yeah. that's the other one that hurts me. Is uh, it hurts. They're always here. They and they have a long way to get she here. She brings bread. Yes, yeah, <laughs> she brings us food. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Guys, this is <laughs> major leagues now. You can't yeah. just Ho- be homemade bread. I mean, yeah. that is offering fantastic. up a couple bad jokes and hoping you make the list. <laughs> <laughs> well, that sounds like a shot at someone who didn't yeah. make the list. I, I, I don't know who that would be. <laughs> oh. oh, God. What's the deal with that being on the list? <laughs> oh. So, so uh, there you go. That, that's a top mentions out there for sure. Yeah, uh, for sure. I'm gonna here's the here's the list. We'll run through it. Kristen Wall, Evan Neaters, Spencer Rice, Kathy Cool, Evan Van Skoik, Linda Modica, Jim Gokin, Cop Chris, Sean Bequette, and Ryan Neaters. That's it. I'm sorry. There's nothing we can do. Sometimes I make a mistake and it opens up one spot after we thought it was done. That's accurate. Yeah. That's ten. Nothing we can do. It was written in Sharpie too. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So there you go. That's the list. Uh, uh, again, it'll be a short reign if we get to uh, early in August uh, to get into the list. You never know when we'll get to it, that's for sure. On that note, we'll wrap this one up as we always do by talking about where people can find us. We're going to start with you, Darren. You can find me on Instagram at The Bourbon Adventures. All right, Jeff. Also here waiting for you to come get on the regulars list. you got to be here to get on the list. So. And you love when they show up on Sunday, Monday, or Tuesday, right? Yep. That's yes. your name. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, Jim, how about you? You can find me on Facebook at Jim Fazan, on Instagram at Foz Jim, or... Usually five days a week here at the uh, ABV Barrel Shop, hanging out with you or Darren. There you go. For me, I'm an easy guy to find. I'm at Steve Akeley on Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook. I've got a website, steveakeley.com. We've also got a company website that thinks abvnetwork.com. Check it out. Everything that we do is out there. Previous shows, blogs, so much more, abvnetwork.com. Come by and see us, ABV Barrel Shop. We'd love to have you taste some of our whiskey. Try before you buy, and if you like something, pick it up in the bottle. Very cool stuff. And, of course, if you like what we're doing, please give us a five-star review with comments. That helps new people find the show. And last but not least, get involved with the show by heading over to patreon.com slash the ABV Network. On that note, we'll let you go for today. We'll have a brand-new show for you tomorrow. Looking forward to that. Until then, take care, everybody. See ya. Bye, all. Peace. Before we finish the show, let's talk about some great companies that support the ABV network. First up is Moonshine Still Pro. Moonshine Still Pro has a full line of products to help the home distiller. Whether you want to experiment on the stove in your kitchen or you're looking for a bigger setup in your backyard, owner Russell Creed and his team can help. They have multiple still offerings, accessories, and even grain from their partners at Goldstone Mill to assist you in making whiskey on par with your favorite distillery. They can also help you with some fabricated parts you probably can't make yourself if you are attempting a DIY still project. Learn more or order your still or parts at moonshinestillpro.com. Last but not least is the ABV Barrel Shop. While we don't get to play in the allocated bourbon game because we aren't selling the other products you have to do to get those, we do have access via our friendships in the bourbon industry to some really cool stuff. Have you ever seen your favorite craft distiller selling some really cool limited offerings only in their gift shop? I'm talking things like the Hazmat offering Distillery 291 did for their 10th anniversary or Neely Family Distillery's Papaw's Birthday Barrel. They don't have enough of it to send it out to distributors, so they only sell it via their gift shop. Well, companies like Distillery 291 and Neely Family Distillery have agreed to sell us two or three cases of these offerings moving forward, meaning our store will have the access to some of the rarest whiskeys in the world. Way more difficult to come by than the allocated bourbon offerings with a national release. Yes, they will be extremely tough to come by, But if you're a customer of our store, you'll have a chance to get them. Get signed up for our email or text list over at abvbarrelshop.com so you don't miss out. The Bourbon Daily is part of the ABV Network. For more information or to become a sponsor, please visit abvnetwork.com. Thanks for listening and cheers. This has been a Steve Akeley production. (laughs) 